Director of the Food and Drugs Authority, Mimi Dako, says government will soon acquire the Sputnik COVID-19 vaccine from Russia plus three others to supplement the immunization exercise which is set to go nationwide in the fight against the coronavirus. Ghana received the delivery of coronavirus vaccines on Wednesday, February 24, 2021, as 600,000 AstraZeneca shots landed in a plane from Serum Institute of India. At the update of the FDA, the Ministry of Health will soon make purchases for shot from Russia, India and China and a few other companies. So we've worked on another vaccine um, that is called the Sputnik vaccine from Russia. As soon as, once we do the evaluation to ensure that it is of the right vaccine, the Ministry will do the um, um, purchasing. We also have another two vaccines, one from India, one from China, that we are evaluating. As soon as we've done this, we'll let the Minister know and then they can go ahead with all the other plans for making sure the vaccine is available. So that means that we have about four at the moment. We are also in discussion with another three more companies. And once they bring their documentation, we'll evaluate it. When we do this sort of thing in a pandemic, we use not more than 15 days. That means people work even Saturday and Sunday to review their documentation. So in a pandemic, we review this in 15 days. So in the next 10 days, we'll have finished with the other two and let you know whether it is good to use or it is not good to use. It is not automatic that will by all means approve the vaccine. The deployment strategies as revealed by the Ashanti Regional Health Directorate will be based on the segmentation of the population. They told that it will be expanded to include children and pregnant women as time goes on and more safety data will become available. Madame Mimidako assured the entire populace not to be troubled about conspiracies surrounding the vaccines since the FDA examined the vaccine before approval for use. We have evaluated this vaccine, which is the COVID shield vaccine that you're going to be using today. We have looked at the quality, we have looked at the efficacy, and we have looked at the safety. We have not compromised on anything in order to make this vaccine available. This vaccine, at the time when it was undergoing trials, it was used in almost 40,000 people. Since it has been approved in other countries, it has been used in over 30 million people, probably even more than that. Um, we as the Food and Drugs Authority, we are what you call a maturity level three agency, described, uh, listed by the WHO. We are also a regional center of excellence. There is no way that will allow a vaccine that is not safe, that is not of the right quality, to be used on Ghanaians. So just to assure you, the vaccine is safe, it is efficacious, it is right that we use it to ensure that we can vaccinate as many of the population to enable us to um, attain what we call herd immunity and bring the coronavirus down. If we don't, it will run wild in this country and we don't want that to happen. So just be assured that even after you use the vaccine, we are still monitoring. There are very few side effects to this vaccine. The side effects to this vaccine are actually very mild. They are the normal side effects that you would get when you use any other vaccine. A bit of chills, maybe a bit of headache, but within one to two days, it is gone. Even after that, we have a good safety monitoring system in place that will ensure that everybody who is vaccinated will be followed up to ensure that if they experience any of these mild side effects, it will be reported to us. It will be managed by the Ghana Health Service team and we will put it in our database just so that we have a database for Ghana. So this morning, I'm just telling you that be assured that the quality is assured, the safety is assured, and the efficacy is assured. Thank you very much. She disclosed that side effect cannot be done without, yet that is nothing strange to cause people to boycott the preventive exercise. Let us make sure that all those who are eligible take the vaccine so as to help us to reduce the burden of COVID-19 in the Ashanti region. I hope that we will have a very successful program uh, with God on our side and that uh, the fight against COVID-19, we will win. On that note, I will thank you once again uh, for coming. We will have 112 vaccination points, each of them comprising a team of vaccinators, social mobilizers, and uh, that is the way we will go in. And they will be, they will be located in our hospitals, and then our health centers. And as I've said, we have all of them on our platform. That uh, was our platform that we are going to share with uh, the media so that the media will take it up and then uh, disseminate the information for us. So that's uh, what we are going to do.